hello guys how are you thanks for watching my videos this is roger malovos don't forget to leave a comment and a like now in today's news i've brought you six things ugandan musicians should learn from diamond platinums in the last half a decade or so the biggest musical export from east africa has been undoubtedly diamond platinums Together with the five artists signed to a Safi record label, Nasib Abdul Juma has proved that despite the reign of West African music, East Africa has something to contribute to Afrobeat. Musically, financially and otherwise, Ugandan musicians have six major things to learn from the Tanzanian bongo flower star and that is Diamond Platinums. The six things Ugandan musicians should learn from Diamond Platinums are as follows. Number one is social media. Social media is the new mainstream media. Wait, I know you are about to lash out at me on how inaccurate that statement is, but Diamond Platinum has proved that. At least musically speaking, after him and his record label being denied airplay by all top media houses in Tanzania, he defied odds and signed a new artist in Boso, who has achieved unprecedented success in just one year of unveiling. How does he do it? Well, thanks to Tanzania's biggest social media usage, almost every one part of his company has a cult of followers on Instagram. With Diamond Platinums himself flying high at 6.3 million followers, who are always directed to YouTube, iTunes and other digital music platforms to support any new piece of work from any Wasafi artist. Promotional challenges are also hyped involving fans singing and dancing to the songs in question and are posted by the artists themselves. In the end, even the perceived weakest artist in Wasafi is able to garner at least a million viewers within a week of release for a video and two weeks for an audio. For a Ugandan musician, earning a million views within a month of release of a video is a miracle usually and celebrated. Also, no single show by Diamond Platinums or any of his artists goes unnoticed. More about that in the next one. Number two is teamwork. Teamwork is everything. While a Ugandan musician will have one manager to handle everything, show bookings, stage management, costumes, welfare, photography and videography, security, payment, studio sessions, PR and all, Diamond Platinums has one individual or more for each of those items for each artist. The team has the duty to make sure nothing goes unnoticed. Behind the scene sessions of music video shoots, media tours and performances are always made ready to viewership on YouTube and Instagram. Also music recording sessions are usually seamlessly executed as the artists spend a lot of time together as a family. They all have home studios on top of the main studio at the headquarters. Management otherwise, Diamond Platinums puts the best names in the industry on board to make his label grow. Babu Tell, Mokumba Fela, Salam SK do mentor young managers like Ricardo Momo, Makema and Sandra to handle all artists accordingly. He also has a video production company of his own and that is called Zoom Production in partnership with director Kenny to cut costs since all Wasafi musicians shoot big budget videos. The partnership with Tycoon Joseph Kusaga to start Wasafi Media also proved he is a team player. Number three is scarcity increases demand. Scarcity increases demand. Unlike Ugandan musicians who do up to 20 shows or more a week, Diamond and his musicians are rare on stage, so their expensive charges are justified. If it is not his Wasafi Countrywide and Kenya Festival, Diamond is on tour across the world. His international performance fee is rumored at $60,000. Number four is Be Humble. 
Despite the flossing on social media and in music videos, everyone who has met Diamond says he is a very humble man. He respects every single person in their right. This one is a little hard to believe because fame easily gets the people's heads. Number 5 is international collabs are a fame catalyst. As Ugandan artists have failed to gain much from international collabs, say Jose Chameleon with Kelly Rowland, Bin Man and Cautions, Epas with Cautions, Palazzo with Davido, Diamond Platinums has made a killing of them. His first international hit was number one remix featuring Davido. He went on to shine brighter with collaborations with Neo, Morgan Heritage, Peace Square, Miri Ben Ari, Rick Ross, Pato Ranking, etc. Number 6. A star's private life is the wildest business. This does not necessarily mean that he has to show everything that happens in his life to the public. But he is well aware his fans are so interested in his private life and he capitalizes on that. Diamond has made sure drama between him and his partners like Zari, Hamisa and Tanasha makes him the talk of the East. These are indeed ambitious things for a Ugandan setting but if you wonder how the Tanzanian sensation does it, there you have it. Don't forget to subscribe on Ugandan news updates. Stay tuned.